In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a email address from your domain name, which is hosted with a ward space to the Mozilla Thunderbird email client. So what you need to do is to log into your award space account. And once you're on the main page, you want to look for the dashboard page. And once you're on the dashboard page, you should see lots and lots of different options. What you want to look for is the email manager here. So click on email accounts. And if you haven't already added an email account, all you need to do basically is just type in the name of the email address, then followed by your domain name, obviously, and choose your password of your choice. Once you've added one or more email accounts, you should see them listed here. What you can basically do is click on, click on them and then select information. And all the information below will give you details on, on how you can add your um, email address to a third party client, such as Mozilla Thunderbird. So, once you've done that pro um, process, you obviously need to open up Mozilla Thunderbird. If you haven't downloaded it, do so. It's a completely free download. Just type in Mozilla Thunderbird free download and you should um, be able to download the program. So we'll open up Mozilla Thunderbird. And if you haven't already added an account, you should see a page like this. If you don't see this kind of page, just click on one of the domain names and you should just see a page like this. So. What you want to do is under account, you can see here, set up an account to click email. And then you can start to enter the details. So you go back to the award space page and basically just, you can then basically need to copy some information. So just highlight it and right click and select copy, or you can type it if you want to. Then go back to the setup. So in this case, you can enter your name or you can enter your email address as your name. You can, you can enter anything here. Basically, I like to enter the email address just for some privacy and then enter the, um, the email address, of course, then enter the password. Then click continue. Now straight away, the um, email client hasn't detected the um, details automatically. You can see here the incoming and out going is completely wrong. So what you need to do is click on manual config. And now we need to enter some more details. So go back to the awards space page. And now for this, we want to look at the um, incoming mail settings. So we want to enter this here for the server. So just copy that again and go back to the email client. And then you can now basically paste this information in the incoming. Now I'm sticking to IMAP. You can also choose POP3 if you want to, but to stick to IMAP if you want to. And again, for the SMTP, enter the same details. So you can now see all those details here. It's got in incoming and outgoing them details, which are, which are very, very near enough the same. So in terms of um, secure connection, I, I prefer secure con connection. So what you can do here is select SSL slash TLS, and it enters port 993, which is um, Correct, we can see here 993. And again, for the outgoing, select SSL slash TLS. And it goes to 465, so just check that again. And we can see from the details here 465. So that's correct. So basically, we don't need to enter any more details. The username is obviously your email address. So click re retest. And then click done. Now hopefully that should be added. So if I just look on the list, I can see down, down here that, um, let's close that a minute. I can see down here that that's been added. Now, but, now before I test the program, I, I tend to close it and then reopen it as it kind of sometimes fixes bugs. So just open and close the program again. So to test the email address, go to the email address you just added and click write a new message. Now it's always best to send the message to yourself. So again, just copy your email address and paste it into the box or type it if you want to. Then just add the subject. Just leave that a minute. Add a subject, add anything. Then click send. So that's now sent, so you want to wait and see if you can receive that message. So click on read email, and you can see there, you've just received the message you've sent to yourself, so you now know that your email, can you can send and receive email from that account. So that's how you can add 
um, an email ad address from your domain name hosted with the Wordspace to Mozilla Thunderbird. Thanks for watching.